Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Tyler Forbes. I'm the founder of Breathe Degrees. And if you're watching this video right now, it's probably the first time you've come into our studio. So we are just super elated for you to be here and excited for you to really experience our method. I want you to, first of all, understand that everything you're about to go through has been vetted by the deepest of research. And when I say research, I'm really talking about NIH, PubMed, the journals of Cell Nature, Science, all the way up to Nobel Prize. So there is a reason why you would do this practice, not just for your body, but also your mind. So the breathing part of our practice is a huge part of it. Breathing muscles. I want you to understand, first of all, that we're a fitness brand. We're no different than Soul Cycle or F45 or CrossFit. When all these other brands are working on quads, glutes, and core, we're working on our breathing muscles. It's a HIIT training in yoga for our breathing muscles. Why? Because we have 10 to 12 pounds of breathing muscles and we live in a society now where we breathe to survive most of the time, not to thrive. And that the implications that breathing and oxygen has on your body and your mind cannot be overstated. The relationship between how much oxygen you bring in corresponds to not just your total body alkalinity, but also the release of all this incredible neurochemistry, and it allows your body to achieve at greater heights physically. So we are really, really going to be focusing in on breathing and how you can leverage breath work to your advantage, not just within the studio, but outside the studio as well. So we're on a mission here. We have a huge mission. We're on a mission to rebrand two things that we think are so important for everyone to understand going forward if they want to be healthy, happy, and strong. The first thing that we're trying to rebrand is stress. My question to you is, do you like stress? Do you like it? And I know most of you, when I ask that question, think I'm crazy and you're kind of shaking your head. No, you don't like stress. And I'm going to tell you, you're right. You don't like it. You love it. You don't just love it. You need it. You need it to be healthy, happy, and strong. It's non-negotiable. The reason why you think I'm crazy right now is because all of our entire society has been told to get rid of their stress, to dump their stress, to, to, to have no stress. And no stress is good. No stress is beautiful. But no stress really is really good for you only when you're sleeping. When you're sleeping, that's where your nervous system is dialed all the way down. It's an area called parasympathetic. That's where your body rejuvenates, recovers, restores, repairs. It's wonderful when you're sleeping. But if no stress was good for you during your waking hours, you could get out of bed, sit on your couch all day, do absolutely nothing for eight hours, get up and be like, yes, oh my gosh, I feel amazing. And I can tell you, most of you, if you've ever experienced that before, you don't feel amazing at all. When you sit there and do nothing, you start actually getting more tired. Your body gets stiff. You start feeling low confidence. You start feeling anxious and sometimes even depressed. On the other side of your nervous system, where it's dialed all the way up to the top, that's called fight, flight, freeze. This is an area of your nervous system that's designed to get you away from the saber-toothed tiger or a great white shark or a pack of wild wolves that's chasing you. You can't be there too long either because if you are, you start feeling the sensations of being overwhelmed and I believe that's where a lot of anxiety and depression are really incubated because we're there too long. This practice really deals with really controlling the polarity of your nervous system but where we want to be most of the time in our waking hours is in the center of our nervous system. In the center of our nervous system, your nervous system is elevated. It's not too high, it's not too low, it's just perfect. It's elevated, and that area of elevated nervous system is actually called hormesis. They'll also call it, science will call it hormetic stress, good stress, eustress. These are all euphemisms for really, in essence, that stress that's good for you. This area of your nervous system, if you're there during your waking hours, it pushes you forward. It makes you get stuff done. It makes you feel accomplished. I'm gonna tell you that's where your mind and your body expands and grows. That's where you find happiness and joy. And I'm gonna tell you that's where meditation takes place too. To validate this whole concept of stress being good for you, do you like exercise? Most of you will nod and say, yes, you like exercise. I'm going to here to tell you that every single form of exercise that you do is a form of stress. Whether it's walking around the block, doing HIIT training, 
or running a marathon, surfing, biking, all of these are forms of stress. But you love it. And then the question that I'm going to ask you is, why do you like exercise? The reason why most people like exercise is they'll say it makes them feel good. And they don't usually talk about the quads, glutes, and their core, and all the other aesthetic qualities that you get from exercise, because if that was all you got from exercise, it wouldn't keep you engaged. The reason why you like exercise so much is how it makes you feel here in your brain, neurochemically. I want you to understand that what exercise does is it allows you to be able to tap in to this pharmacy that you have in your brain. Yes, you have a pharmacy, you have a CVS or a Rite Aid inside your brain. And you have the access, you have the ability to be the pharmacist and dispense whatever medic medications you want. Norepinephrine, dopamine, DMT, the endocannabinoid system, the opiate center, it's all there for you to access. But if you wanna do it naturally without alcohol and drugs, you have to do the work. And the work we're gonna to do today is breathing. And breathing is the very thing that connects every single form of exercise. Have you ever noticed the more exercise you do, the better you feel? And the reason why is because the more exercise, the deeper it is, the harder it is, the longer it is, the more you have to breathe. And oxygen is this magical molecule that has the capacity of being able to unlock that pharmacy and allow a cascade of all this incredible chemistry that allows you to feel you and come back to yourself. So the other thing we're on a mission to rebrand is this idea or concept of meditation. Listen, meditation is no longer up for discussion. It's no longer debatable. The research is so deep. The implications and the impact that meditation has, not just on your body, but your mind. There's not a doctor on the planet that would tell you you shouldn't have a daily meditation or mindfulness practice. But the challenge that we're facing is that everyone thinks that meditation is just sitting in lotus position trying to think about nothing. And it's a very, very difficult practice. And while that's a beautiful form of meditation, it happens to be the most advanced form of meditation. And so most people that try it actually give up on it because they think they're not good at it. And I'm here to tell you that meditation is not just that. Meditation is really technically anything physiologically that puts you in the here and the now, it connects you to the present moment, where you're not thinking about past failures or future consequences, you're just doing what you're doing. So really, Meditation is walking down the beach, hiking on a trail, running, swimming, kiteboarding, surfing, snowboarding, whatever puts you in the here and the now, that is meditation. And so the thing that connects every single form of exercise and every single form of meditation is this regular pattern of rhythmic breathing. So what we wanna do right now is show you how to breathe properly because if you can understand how to breathe properly and leverage it to your capacity in the outside world, it will change not just how your body feels, but also, also how you feel up here. It will help you navigate through the rest of your life. And I'm not overstating anything. And now one of our amazing instructors is gonna show you how to actually breathe. So listen up, follow their cues, and I'm gonna tell you, your breath is gonna take you exactly where you've always wanted to go. So enjoy the ride. Thank you for being part of our tribe.